Okay, so I wish I could do this without doing it live. My video camera doesn't flip in the middle of the feed. So I'm, and the YouTube video just takes forever to upload. Just like, the longer it is, the longer it takes. Like twice, three times as long. So I'm gonna do it here. Anyway, so there's mostly what we've done. Uh, we've been working on down here and doing the water pipes. All of this is going to have to be replaced, but we weren't worried about it right now. Although looking at it going, hmm, yeah, I don't know. I told Joe we just needed to remove it and just have the joists exposed, which we might end up doing. Um, but he didn't want to do it right now. He wanted to get the water in because we want to be able to have a bathroom and and a kitchen. But we did get our washer and dryer and they're under here. And he's getting all of that hooked up. We don't have electricity yet. And so we've got to get electricity. And then um, upstairs, we decided that we're gonna just replace all the Wayne's coating in the bathroom rather than trying to strip it just because it's been taking so long and it's so nasty. I'm still having, like, I still haven't finished stripping the molding. Um, last night I worked on the door. This door is finished, ready to stain. That door is almost finished, but it's just been so messy and we just haven't, I don't know. Anyway, it just, we just need to be done with that part so that we can move on. But exciting thing happened today. I got my legs for my counters and my core bells for the cabinets. So these are gonna go, basically, they're gonna go under, under the cabinet on the wall. Um, and it's gonna, it's gonna be designed so that it's an open shelf type of a system. Uh, just because that was traditionally what they had, but I want them to look fancier than just open shelves. And they used tables. So I'm designing my cabinets so that they look like they resemble like a table um, surface. And then, and just for fun, I'm gonna add, I've um, been working on this art project the frame for it has been kicking my butt, and I was supposed to enter it into this really wonderful art show that Utah has every year. And I tried doing it last year, and the frame was a major fail. And this year, and then I tried doing it for a religious show, and I still couldn't get it done. <laughs> and I just keep trying to re-engineer this frame. And I finally have it where I think I re-engineered it so that it will work. But while I was working on it Friday night, uh, one of my tracks got stuck and it broke my glass, which I'm super disappointed in because I actually really love this piece. It's my most favorite piece I think I've ever done. And it's kind of a holy trinity, but see like, as I've been fixing the frame, the glass pieces are falling out and they're cracking like uh, right there. So I think what I'm gonna have to actually end up doing is repainting all of them on either a thicker plexiglass or just glass glass. Like this one here, as I've been fixing it, like every time I pull it in and out because it's not fixed, it's just becoming more fragile and this board has come off the track, so I need to find a different way to secure it. I either didn't put enough in or I didn't use long enough ones. And this track here is what broke that plate there. And as long as it doesn't have the wood on it, it rolls just fine. But as soon as I put the, the wood piece on, then it gets stuck. And I can't figure out why it's getting stuck. And so, um, but the piece is so that separate, they're three separate images, and then together they're one image. And um, I just, 
The first time I made it, it was just all hanging on the wall. This time I made it so that it can stand on its own. Um, anyway, I think it's a really beautiful piece. And I can't wait to finally have it like to a place where it's actually finished. But until then, it's just gonna have to stay in limbo. And I don't have time to work on it right now. And I've had to kind of like tell myself that it's okay. And I would rather have this be really nice than have it be broken. And so um, I'm just, I've just resolved myself that I'm gonna just have to repaint them. And the painting of it really wasn't that big of a deal. The biggest part of this thing has been actually making the frame for it. So, um, you know, whatever. Until I get the house done, um, it's, just, it's just too hard to try to do. I'm trying to be Wonder Woman and do it all. And baby dog art and house just too much so art is just gonna have to sit on the side for a while and um, and baby dog and house have to come first so um, you know but that's that's kind of where we're at um, in our process with the house and everything and it's slow uh, it's really been stressful for both of us I'm just anxious all the time. Like if I'm not working on the house, I just feel like I'm really super anxious. And you know, we're heading into our third, well, actually we're almost halfway through our third month and we have a year and it just feels like we're super behind. So I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping that somehow, like maybe once we get the water done and everything that maybe we'll pick up some momentum, but I keep saying that and it hasn't happened. So. Um, it's just, it is what it is and, and it's just a learning curve and I wish I had more to show for it, but it's coming, it's just slow. So it's a learning process and, um, but we're, ex I'm excited for, for, you know, it's just one day at a time and anyway, so thanks for watching. That's all I have to show for now, but, uh. Wish me luck, maybe in a couple of weeks I will, or maybe by next week I'll have something cool to show you. So anyway, thanks guys.